guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be doing a clothing haul and yes, another clothing haul. I actually have a very legit reason as to why I have been shopping. It was actually my birthday month last month. I turned 20 on July 29th. I'm officially an adult. So yeah, it was like a bittersweet moment. But anyways, I did, you know, treat myself and I did go shopping because, you know, you just have to buy yourself a birthday present. And a lot of this stuff is actually gifted to me from friends and family. So I just decided to do a clothing haul slash birthday haul. I have some makeup to show you guys as well. So let's get started with the makeup and then a couple of skin things and then we'll move on to the clothes. So first off, I have uh, these items from Sephora. So the first thing from Sephora is this Tarte High Performance Rainforest of the Sea Concealer. And I actually needed a new concealer because I was running out of my NARS Creamy Concealer. And one of my best friends, which she has a YouTube channel, I will link her video um, review of this product down below. She swore by this concealer, so I was just like, you know what, I should just give it a try, and I absolutely love it. It's definitely more um, full coverage, but I really like that because it gives me enough coverage, you know, for the little imperfections on my face and then under my eyes, and I don't need to use foundation. So I was, oh my gosh, when I tried this on my face, I was so happy. So yeah, I really like this, and then I got it in the tone Medium Sand. And then I'll just show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, it's super cute. I love the little ombre effect on the top. And then it has a lot in here. I really liked my NARS Creamy Concealer, but I feel like I just went through it super fast because there was not a lot of product in there. And then one of the next items I got is this Hourglass Vell Primer. And I needed a new primer because every time I do my makeup, it won't last me like more than four hours. It would just like completely come off. And I first thought it was because I didn't wear too much makeup. So, you know, if you don't wear a lot of makeup, it just kind of takes off after a while. But no, it was because I was using a really crappy primer. So I ended up getting this one. It was a bit pricey, but I have been using it for the past two weeks and I have been obsessed with it. So um, I heard Hourglass was a good brand and this is one of my first products that I ever bought from them and the packaging also is just so beautiful I feel like it's super chic and it's like very sleek as well it's a mineral primer and it's oil free and I really like that and then it has a little pump not only does it make my makeup stay all day it does have SPF which is super good for your skin because you need to put SPF on your face you don't want to be old and crinkly by like 38 you know so one of the next products that I got was actually um, a gift from one of my best friends. And she got me the Urban Decay Naked Flushed. And I really like this because I can use it on the go. So it has a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush. And like I said, it's on the go. I can literally pop this in my bag. And I have the bronzer, I have the highlight, and I have the blush. And that's literally all I wear for work. So I really like that. And it does come with a cute mirror. So all you have to do is bring your brush and you're good to go. I also got another blush from NARS and this is the shade Orgasm and I've seen this a lot on YouTube so I just decided to get it because it's a really nice shade. It has like a little bit of glitter in there and then I like, I like really peachy blushes so when I saw this one I was just like you know what this purchase has been long overdue just get it. So yeah I really like this one. I'm actually wearing it right now. I don't wear too much blush, but I do like to add a little bit of color. And then the last makeup product that I'm going to show you is this Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I actually got this from one of my other best friends. And holy crap, I did not bake. I have never baked. I didn't think it was necessary for you to bake. But that is just such a game changer. This makes your makeup stay so nicely and especially if you have oily skin which I do get oily around my t-zone and the thing with this is that you don't even have to pack it on if you add just a teensy bit under your eyes and then you know in your t-zone area you'll be set for the rest of the day because I was kind of scared of this product because I've seen a lot of pictures where the flash comes on and it just looks completely white under the eyes and I was just like nope 
I am not about to do that. It has definitely been added to my daily makeup routine because it's just so good. And again, I'm super late on the bandwagon, but yes, if you guys haven't tried this powder, I 100% recommend. So that is all the makeup products. Moving on to skin and face. Um, first off, I'm going to show you this CC Pear Dr. Jart's Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. That was a mouthful. I was going to buy the bigger jug of this, but it was like $52, and I was like, mm, let me just try it first, and if I like it, then I'll buy the bigger one. So this one was just 18 and it's the smaller size. I actually bought it in line as I was paying. So you can use this as a moisturizer as well. I basically put it on before I do my makeup. I do get redness in the morning when I wake up and it just makes your skin tone even. You don't honestly if you know you're feeling like you don't want to wear foundation, just put this on and that's basically your foundation because it evens out your skin tone. So yeah, I really like this. I put this on and then I'll put on the Rainforest of the Sea concealer and then I'm good to go. Like my skin looks amazing and I love it so much. So yeah, I really like this. The first product that I'm going to show you guys is this Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. And I heard this was like one of their best selling products so I just decided to try it. Because I really wanted a nice eye treatment and so far it's been doing its job. It's been super moisturizing under the eyes and I've been using it day and night. So that is all like my makeup, facial, and body products. Now moving on to hair. My sister is an amazing hairstylist and um, I am, you know, blonde. So I have to take care of my hair a little bit more than, you know, I usually would just because there's a lot of breakage that happens when you, you're blonde. So my sister hooked me up with a bunch of amazing hair products. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is this Goldwell dry shampoo. And I have used Goldwell before. I love their products. I love the smell um, of the product. I really like this dry shampoo. I usually use Batiste, but this is definitely going to be like my number one all-time favorite dry shampoo just because... I don't feel um, as icky as I do when I use other dry shampoos. When I put this on, my hair feels like, honestly, like I, I showered. Like I washed my hair. So yeah, I really like this. And then she bought me these two hairsprays. The first one is going to be the Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray. And then the second one is going to be the Goldwell Big Finish Hairspray. So when I curl my hair, I don't like using hairspray at all just because I don't like the curls to you know look crunchy but these two hairsprays are amazing because it's super lightweight you don't even feel it but then it still holds the curl so I really like this Moroccan oil love it 100% I love the way it smells so yeah if you're looking for a good hairspray I recommend these two and then I also got this Aquage Beyond Shine Spray. So yeah, I haven't really tried this, but you know what she said was after you finish styling your hair, you spray this on and your hair looks a lot more polished. And then last but not least, she got me these two Carousel Color Goldwell Finishing Serums. And basically this is just a really good hair mask um, for my hair. Just when I'm, you know, feeling really dry at my ends, she told me to pop one of these on in the shower. And yeah, she said that I'd really enjoy these. So moving on to the clothes, the first store that I have to show you is TJ Maxx. So I got this white button-up blouse and this item is, I guess, kind of out of my comfort zone. I really wouldn't have bought it, you know, at first glance. But then I started looking at it a little, little more and I was just like, you know what? I love the colors that it has on the flowers and then I got this Ginham pattern dress and after I saw this dress I was like okay after this like I am not buying anything else that is this pattern just because I've been going too crazy on patterns like this I know in like a couple months I'm gonna be so over this pattern but hopefully I'm not so yeah it's just this off-the-shoulder dress and then it has a little wrap in the front and I thought it was super cute because I didn't need more dresses. So another dress that I bought was this midi tight dress. And I thought it was super casual and cute with, you know, one of the um, sneakers that I showed you guys in my last video, the Black Adidas. I thought it would pair super nice with this. So it's just navy blue and then it has gray sleeves. And then on the side, it has this cool white stripe. So yeah, I thought it was super sporty and cute. 
and I actually already wore it like twice because it's just so easy to throw on. And then I found these super cool pants, but they're high-waisted, they're black, they kind of look like slacks, but then they have this white stripe on the side, so it makes it look really sporty as well. And then it has this opening at the side, so when you walk, it kind of sways, and then if you have super cool sneakers, you can definitely show them. So yeah, I'm thinking of wearing this a couple times, and then when I get tired of the slit, I'll just close it and then have it only open at the ends just a little bit and then moving on to this super cute one piece that i found at tj maxx this is sleepwear and i thought okay that's super cute but that's going to be super uncomfortable when you go to sleep no i tried it on and oh my gosh it's the most comfortable thing ever and it's literally so beautiful so it's navy blue and it's um it has like the button Really, you're going to make that noise right in the middle of my video. So the one piece has the buttons on the bottom so you don't have to completely... Bitch, stop. Please stop. <laughs> so the one piece just has lace in the front and in the back as well. And then one of the last items that I got from TJ Maxx is this super cute black robe. And it just has this floral embroidery on the sides. I'm just excited to wear it, you know, after the shower and then you get to do your makeup and your hair and you feel super cute and fancy. And I also needed a robe because I haven't bought one, you know, in forever. I think the last robe I had has like cupcakes on it, so I think I needed an upgrade. That's all I got from TJ Maxx. Moving on to Forever 21, I only got one item from there. It is this gorgeous satin burnt orange romper and the fabric that comes down here you just wrap it around your waist so that's all i got from forever 21 moving on to nordstrom rack so the first thing from nordstrom rack is this super cute cropped comfy hoodie and the brand is harlow and graham and i really like this because of the stripes that it has on the back I've already worn this like three times just because it's super comfortable. So I got this fishnet one piece from Nordstrom Rack and I already wore this and I got so many compliments on this. It was crazy. I wore it with the, the super cool bralette underneath and you probably will see it in the try on haul. And then I wore it with black high waisted jeans and these super cool shoes that I'm about to show you guys. And yeah, it was just definitely a look and I do think that this is like an edgier piece that I have in my closet but yeah I really love it and then one of the last things that I got from Nordstrom Rack are these jeans and they're these high-waisted Joe jeans and they have some distressing on the legs and I really like this because I wanted some black jeans that were distressed but they weren't you know too much where if I were to wash them a couple of times the rips would just be completely holes by the end of the year so yeah, I found these. I really like them. So one of the last two items that I'm going to show you guys are from Zara. And they're actually my favorite items from this whole entire haul. So starting off with this swimsuit. Oh my god. Amazing. Beautiful. I just can't even express in words how much. I love the swimsuit and I haven't even worn it yet, but I just love it already. So this swimsuit reminds me of a For Love and Lemon swimsuit and I have been wanting one of their swimsuits forever, but they're just super expensive so I can't get myself to buy one. So this is like the next best thing. So I really love the silver hardware that it has here and then bam, look at the sides. They're just, it's just so beautiful and it's open back as well. And of course, it's red, and red is one of my favorite colors. And then the last item from Zara. Wow, like, you you guys are not ready. Oh my god. Look at these. Look. Just look at them. And then the heel is just perfect. It's, like, not too high, not too low. You can definitely wear them out at night, and then you can also wear them during the day because they're not going to be too high or they're uncomfortable. And... Oh my gosh, I'm like out of breath. There's like so much stuff. So that was the end of my video. I really hoped you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys have any suggestions, please leave it down below. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Okay, I'm done.